Welcome back! In this video, we are going to learn how to do arbitrary value imputation with Feature Engine. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we need to import Feature Engine Missing Data Imputers as MDI. Then we load a mixture of categorical and numerical variables from the house prices dataset. We can check missing data as always, and then separate the data set into train and test sets with the train test split function from scikit-learn. And to create an arbitrary value imputer with feature engine, we call the arbitrary number imputer and we pass the arbitrary value with which we want to replace the missing data. If we don't pass the argument variables to the imputer, the imputer will automatically find all numerical variables present in the dataset, as you can see here, when we fit the imputer to the train set. The variables are stored in the attribute variables, and the arbitrary number is stored in the arbitrary number attribute. To transform the data, we do imputer.transform and we pass the train set and it returns a pandas data frame. We can also specify a specific group of variables that we want to impute with a specific number. In order to do so, we create an imputer with the arbitrary number imputer from Feature Engine. We pass the arbitrary value and then we pass the variables in a list to the variables argument. We fit the imputer to the train set and then we transform the variables with the transform method. And of course, we can put the imputer, several imputers together within the scikit-learn pipeline. So we create one pipeline calling the pipeline from scikit-learn and we create the first imputer in which we are going to replace missing data with 999 by calling the arbitrary imputer, passing specific arbitrary number we want to use and the variables that we want to impute with that number. And then we create a second arbitrary imputer with a different arbitrary number on this occasion and a different variable that we want to impute. Then we fit the pipeline to the train set we can navigate the pipeline steps to find out which variables are imputed with which number. And finally, we transform a train set or a test set or any data set with the pipe.transform method. That is all for this video. See you in the next one.